Hi Invest welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm a mom of three. I do a lot of TV and grocery hauls. Um, TV hauls, no, TV and movie reviews. A couple of rants here and there and also some reactions. So I do a whole lot of just putting how I feel out there. But this is just another video about Fox, um, about Fox. So if you haven't watched my other video about how Fox needs to burn in hell for canceling the prodigal son, I have a video of it down below, but not down below, but like in my video calls, video calls. I don't know what you call them. My Rolodex, Rolodex of videos, Ro playlists. That's what it is. It's playlist. I think it's under like TVs and movie reviews. But anyways, nonetheless, I was trying to find something for my actually no. My son is sick, so I was in the room with him until he fell asleep. And then I was on YouTube and I went down this hole, you know, like when you're just scrolling and you hit one video and you go through a whole bunch of it's like a rabbit hole that's what happens to me these past couple of days with this other youtuber that i don't know my kids watch him for like giggles i don't know but um i'm gonna do a video about him i think after this one i'm also timing a pizza because i'm hungry so yeah he, he's at 45 minutes to an hour but anyway Nonetheless, Fox is trash. I watched a four videos or four trailers for their new shows that are coming soon and that are replacing The Prodigal Son. Um, if I remember to do so, I will, um, as I'm talking about the shows, I will try to like put the trailer of the show that I am talking about. But then again, like, why would I want to subdue someone to this bullshit? Why? But there's one show that I really kind of want to watch. I'm not going to even lie. I do actually want to see how it pans out, even though I know it's just going to be canceled. So up first, it's something called The Cleaning Lady. And I was really trying to figure out what the, the cleaning lady, what does that mean? Like, I'm going to have to watch my clean fucking tables in hotels all the fucking day but honestly i kind of did remind me of you know uh blacklist with um damn with the old lady but the whole time you think she's a man because it's like mr something they call her they call her but anyways it's about this woman who i guess she is a clean lady she cleans like I guess parties and events and this man I guess was like hey do you want to make some extra money and then her friend or aunt or cousin I don't know who it is like she knocked this nigga in the throat and I'm sorry he's a ass but like popped like she knifed homeboy in the throat I was like what and then I guess homegirl saves him she like makes a trick and turns out she used to be um, a doctor, I think. Yeah. And then when you, you go back, you kind of like, she's home. And like, I guess her son is really, really sick. That's where it kind of got me. I, I was like, the action part got me. But then I saw a little baby in a little plastic bubble. And he's sick. And he's like, Mom, can we go to space? I was like, ah, I gotta give the show a go. But... Then it gets like weird, but not weird. But let me tell you how Fox is, they doing fuck shit. Like she wanted to take her son to the doctor because he's sick. And I guess back, um, damn, I don't know if it was Mexico or the Philippines where she was from. And she was like, she was one of the top doctors in a much more busier hospital than where they are now. And then they said that, um, see this lady? I'm so sorry. I'm trying to. Okay. 
And then she's like, oh, we can't help you because um, you're an illegal. The fuck? This is not who I am. So now because she's illegal, she's gonna start this life of crime? I assume. As they did say that and they were like, well, the lady at the desk was like, you're an illegal. We can't help you. That's where you kind of already know where they're going to go with this bullshit. Long and behold, she witnessed a the crime there. I guess the Italian mob, Spanish, Mexican mob. I don't know. I don't know. All of a sudden, they kill homeboy. They're about to kill her. She was like, no. I can help you. I can help you clean it. So she starts cleaning up blood. And now this man is going to pay her to clean up his messes when he be out here killing people. Well. That shit's gonna get canceled. If it gets a sec if it gets a if it gets a season two, that would be amazing. But it's probably gonna get canceled. Then we have this other sh show called The Leap or Leap. Leap or Le Big Leap or Leap. I don't know. Apparently it's like Dancing with the Stars, but it's like a docu-series in your life. Actually, it's a scripted show. It has Scott Bowley in it that I haven't seen that nigga since Felicity. Nope. I'm lying. Felicity, what's that other show he was on Channel 7? It's called something, okay? Alright, if you know what I'm talking about, um, it's like Spitz, I think, for the president named Spitz, it has um, Bill Bellamy in it, which I really wonder what that woman's name is, Bill Bellamy? It's a dance reality show, it's called is Bill Bellamy? Or Bellamy something, or, I don't know, that's her name. Um, damn, why can't I remember? It has Carrie Washington in it. And I'm pretty sure once I finish this little video, and I'm, it's going to, when I'm editing, I'm going to fuck around with it. But anyway, that's not here, nor there, everywhere. But it, it's just so stupid. <laughs> But I kind of understand. It's like taking a leap of faith. I don't really know. And it has that woman. I don't know if her name was Piper. The one from Orange is the New Black. The main character when she went into prison. She's in it. Um, I think she's like a housewife or something. I don't know. But basically just like a dancing competition. And... Honestly, the whole time I was watching this trailer, I was like, what the fuck am I really sitting through this for? But at certain parts, that I, I don't think I'm going to give it a go. Maybe. I probably might have to watch episode one and actually forget about it. But I don't know. But I will play the trailer for Elite. Now, this is another show that really pisses me off. And I think it's the most stupidest thing I've ever seen. It's called pivoting or pivot I don't know it has that Jennifer geez, it's not Gardner but it's Gainer she was on that show Once Upon a Time on Channel 7 that show is stupid as hell okay I guess it's three of them or four of them and one of the friends die and now everyone's life the one that's like a doctor a fucking surgeon wants to quit being a surgeon and bad groceries in the supermarket or she quit medicine and there's one i guess that i don't know what she does but apparently they just show her setting up as a shitty ass mom then there's another one um who basically i'm guessing is trying to lose weight and make the trainers like oh my god what are you doing it you're, you're, you're gonna get it you're gonna be in those skinny jeans in no time then she tries on the skinny jeans and somehow she got stuck in the skinny jeans i'm getting from this trailer and uh, has to go to the hospital to get cut out of the skinny. This show is dumb. 
<laughs> Basically, this is just Fox promoting more white people bullshit because this is stupid. And I am not, but sometimes, it's sometimes you gotta pull a spade a spade and that's what basically that show is. Yeah, I realize that's the wrong thing to say now. Then we have Fletch. So it turns out Fletch is a BBC show that they remade. Um, the original name was uh, Country, or This Country, just like what Fox did with Call Me Cat, and they took it from, it was called Miranda. Yeah, I would have never clicked on it if Sean William Scott's face was not on it. And I'm just going to keep it 100. And then, first of all, Lethal Weapon was really good. Minus the country guy, the dude with the country accent from Texas and he fucked the shit up but y'all replaced him just to cancel the show if you knew you were gonna cancel the show just don't replace him just cancel it or somebody else could pick it up because honestly Lethal Weapon was really really good I don't know which I don't want to say the wrong is I think it's Damon Williams yes I think it was Damon he did a really good job in this show and it was really good and I was really into it that's another thing they just was like you know what fuck it we can't slam it it's basically like Fox 5 has this thing everything black just gotta go um <laughs> and I have a video about Lee Daniels coming up too Fletch I thought it was like uh documentary about a small town turns out at first it seems like it is but then you see scott Foley and you know he's not from that town like the fuck then it so basically it's a docu comedy they call it, it i don't know i don't know if it's gonna be an hour long or half an hour probably gonna be a half an hour or 15 minutes the show looks dumb as hell it looks stupid like they have like kind of little funny parts but then again it looks stupid i i, I don't understand i think scott Foley's supposed to be like a reverend or something it looks stupid i'm all for stupidity but this is stupid and i want on stupidity these assholes cancel bust the hearts even though it is a cartoon but i had faith in the fact that they would keep my fucking cartoon but they didn't they canceled it they didn't give it a season three i don't fucking know why they did not give it a season three but when i think about it last time i read that last year they did have cancel it and then brought it back i guess because they needed to like fill i guess their block of time and also now that they're moving they're giving animation domination two nights so it's going to be sunday and monday why does shit need two nights during the summer i have no fucking idea i literally have no fucking idea why why <laughs> i'm just gonna stop watching channel five Did they trash um, but I do want to see how the cleaning lady is going to pan out. It looks very interesting. Out of all four of the shows that I did, like, I didn't watch, but I watched the trailers for, um, the cleaning lady looks like the strongest one, but knowing Fox is going to get canceled and Pivot is going to get a second season and Leap is going to get a second season. But this, that flat shit looks stupid. I, it looks dumb. I don't under, it looks so stupid. It looks horrible. What were they thinking? I think they're just gonna cancel that bitch mid season and have to find like fillers to fill out the season because it looks dumb. But that's all I have for now. Um, comment, like, and subscribe and tell me if you have any interest in any of these trailers and if you had if you've seen any trailers that you want me to look at and give my opinion about because trust me i have a lot 
of trailers I want to give my opinions about a lot. A lot. Oh, and CBS, I ain't forget about y'all. Y'all, y'all on my shit list too. For that fuck shit. Y'all on my shit list. I ain't forget about y'all. Y'all on my shit list. I just haven't had time to really sit down and get my thoughts together because right now, everything I want to say to y'all is not nice. At all. Very bad. So, I'm going to get my thoughts together and then I'll be back. Before my pizza come or after. But anyways, thank you.